Wet yellow wellies rain on the roof. These cottagey challenges simply are proof. She mused to herself in this new countryside that I'm truly cut out for this kind of life. The land it gives all, take what we need. The earth it provides, each day is a treat. And then I shall ride fully rest well and savor the seasoned and seasonal fruits of my labor. It's awful easy, she beamed a smile, snipping a lemon, collecting a pile. What these city folk don't understand is how disconnected they are from the land. With all of their cars and carbon prints, they're glued to their screens. Don't move an inch. They never breathe deep in this fresh country air. She deftly removed a wasp from her hair. It's all about money, material stuff. And if I have the land, I have enough. I gather my lunch. Setbacks, that's how I learn. Knowledge and sustenance are what I earn. She ate a green olive straight from the tree. Her attempt to still smile was disturbing to me. She filled her basket with all kinds of greens. Noted the figs were infested with things that wriggled unnervingly. She disregards my concerns about this and some poisonous plants. My fuel for cooking and warmth is free. Felt branches and twigs as far as you see. Then she jumped at the bark of a neighboring dog, squealed upon touching a slug on a log. Rain pounded harder, so back inside. Firewood, useless and damp, sat in the fireplace lit by a lamp. The unripe potatoes won't feed her today. The nourishment coming from fields far away in a styrofoam box in a bag in a van. Thanks to the pleasant delivery man. The lemon was splendid, as bitter as she, and she turned.